next, the wait is over for this lightweight championship fight between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and TJ Dillashaw. lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Defending undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25 minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. the tape for this lightweight scrap. Dillashaw is five years the elder. The Korean Superboy will have a three-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It is time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. It's the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 18 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, presenting the challenger, TJ Dillashaw! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think he's getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Oh, big punch land. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. 
nice kick landed by the defender. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got... Whoa! might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice job by him to get the meat at the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Big call from Clutch Lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Huge knee lands from in close. Superman punch now. Looking to land the right just out of range. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Let's focus, let's focus now. Strong hook lands. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. There he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful... Yep. Shot there, DC. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. That punch, no good. Leg kick lands flush for Dillashaw. And he switches to southpaw here yet again. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Lands the right hand. All right, feet on the hips here. Back to his feet. All right, single collar tie now. Beautiful punch. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, he lands a huge knee. Oh! Oh! Unbelievable! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. So what a knockout from the UFC lightweight champion here tonight. Under the bright lights, he rises above the pressure and gets it done in a big way to be the UFC lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, seven seconds in the very first round. To play the winner by knockout and still. So he defends the UFC lightweight title tonight, and I think in so doing, starts to close the gap on the pantheon of lightweight greats. A hugely successful defense tonight. Big moment for this man. Every time he goes into the octagon, the 